Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about the SR latch or simply SR flip-flop within the Multisim. So first you must know that what an SR latch is. SR latch or set reset latch is based upon either on NOR gates or NAND gates and it is the basic unit of memory like it can store the one bit memory. So let's try to build this circuit for uh, SR latch. So we will take our DC power. We need to take it and then ground. Now connect the negative part of the DC power supply with the ground. Also reduce the voltage to 5 volt because majority of the semiconductor ICs are uh, not able to tolerate this 12 volt. So we have to reduce it to 5 volt. After it we will go to our CTL and we will write here NOR gate. We can also like uh, use NOT gate, sorry, the NAND gate, but here we are just using these NOR gates. Okay, now we need two indicators for the output. So we can go for indicators. Okay, so this is our indicator probe. We can use two indicator probes to connect them to the output of the NOR gates. Now, after this, we need to create a feedback loop. This is called as the feedback loop from the output of the second NOR gate to the input of the first nor gate and from the output of the first nor gate to the input of the second nor gate like this okay so this is our feedback okay okay now we need two dip switches now uh, it, it just uh, have one uh, major logical point uh, we need to take our dip switches, these dip switch one with this and with this. Okay, now connect it like that and connect it like that. Also drag this five volt supply so that Okay, okay, now, okay, like this, we can connect this 5 volt supply with the, with these switches. Okay, now, so, we will give the names to the input and output, and for it, we can go for our text. So, this is reset, and this input is considered as set. Again, take the text and write here set. This is Q bar. That is the output. That is the Q bar. And the lower one is Q. Okay, so now there is one logical point that we know that it, it, it has some sort of latching action. Latching action means that it knows about its state. Usually in certain other simple gates like OR and whenever the input changes, they are going to change their state at the same time. Latched action simply means that even 
when you are supposed to change this input still there is same output so we can say that it used to memorize its state so that is why it is called as the ledge now whenever you will so here if both the switches or if both the inputs are zero zero then our output our latch will memorize its states there is switch one so whenever reset is one whenever we can say that okay now we need to run the simulation and whenever whenever our set is you can see that whenever our set is one we can see that our q bar is one and q is zero so even if you change the state still it needs to memorize it okay because zero zero simply zero zero now it is zero zero because both these switches are open so you can see that it is not going to change its state okay but when we press the reset now it used to make q1 and q bar 0 but when we open it now you can see that 0 0 there is 0 0 but it used to memorize its state i think you got the concept that okay now if we if we used it 1 1 one one then you can see that it is zero zero okay okay and now when reset is on q is one and when set is on q bar is one but this thing is not important the important thing is that when we even when there is zero zero on both switches on both the input of nor get then it will memorize its past state because this is its past state so hopefully you got the concept that how the ledge used to work in this multi-sim so thanks for visiting our channel